What's up YouTube? It's Ask the Young One with CreateHigherVibrations.com. Uh, today I wanted to make a video and talk a little bit about fears and how we can literally manifest our worst nightmares. And a lot of times we kind of do this as we manifest certain relationships into our life. If we manifest a cluster B into our life, we've pretty much manifested our worst, our worst fears that we carry deep inside of us. And I think it's important to talk about this because I don't know that necessarily a lot of people understand um, because a lot of times after it's the aftermath of the relationship that a lot of these deep fears will set in and then we'll continue to cycle the pattern of, of fear and we'll continue to manifest things into our life that we feared. And if we continue down that path, it's just going to basically just be a whirlwind, a, 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 like a hamster wheel of manifestation of fear. And so I think it's, it's highly important to understand this. Um, in my own situation and what I've learned going through this was how unconsciously a lot of these fears were coming up throughout this process and then once it started it was literally like a domino effect everything was leading from one fear to the next and then things were just happening and before i knew it every like i mean there was nothing left i mean there was nothing left to fear <laughs> and so it, you know the lesson for me that i've learned over these last five years almost is if we don't if we if we're not able to have the awareness and we're and we're not and we and we allow the ego to take over and we allow this this fear to to take over our lives whether it's fear of abandonment and now we're abandoned and then that fear becomes more bigger and bigger the more we allow the ego to to think about it and to to go and then we continue to manifest it or whether it's we fear family court or whatever the fear may be if we focus on it and focus on it and focus on it then that is what we will manifest into our life and i experienced that literally i mean from i mean from the time i figured out what i was dealing with or that shit wasn't right it was literally just a snowball effect of just everything that i thought would happen would happen and i was functioning from a place of fear I was coming I was fearing everything and then it was it was all coming true every every bit of it was coming true and when we're in that place it's it's a really it's a really hard place to start getting control of things and getting control of yourself and when that snowball effect starts happening it get it gets going and it gets going fast and before you know it you've lost in family court you've lost your business or your job you're losing your home you're about to be homeless you don't have any money left you don't have any friends left before you know it everything has just went completely crazy in your world and then you're left with no choice but to face the fears no choice but to face the aftermath of those fears and for me the you know, like once I started getting control like over my own emotions and my ego and you know it's a it's not a hard you know it's not an overnight process it's it takes time to to build the type of awareness that is needed to begin to do this especially if you went that route now not everybody's going to experience it like that and not everybody's going to carry the same fears because not everyone has has the same life experiences and the, the reference points to fears and and not it just it's just going to be different for everybody but i know that there are a lot of people that are functioning from a place of fear while trying to go through divorce or while trying to um move forward but yet they're in fear just continuously rotating the same cycle and uh, manifesting a lot of the same fears continuously manifesting people into their life that are showing them and bringing their fears to, to truth and so it's important to get a hold of that and we realize what is what is within is pushed out 
and that is a teaching of Neville Goddard. What is within is pushed out. And so when we can start to again to analyze these things and you know no matter what we consciously think we are we're, that we're good noble people there's something underneath that is manifesting outward and bringing these situations into our lives and so we have to become aware and pay attention to that and i i truly you know for me you know it's been almost five years and as far as financially really financially i'm I mean, it's cost a lot and, you know, it's cost me a lot emotionally, like with certain aspects of it because of the financial part and how it and how it's all played out. And so, you know, it's taken this long to even begin to have the mindset of overcoming the damage that the fear manifested. To overcoming that and so I wanted to make a video on this just to bring it to people's attention you know so that if you're in that place like you know let's stop let's take some breath let's start and learn some some grounding and bringing ourselves to the present and getting control of these fears and realizing that fear is nothing more than you need to go into the fear and so for me you know it was like I feared family court so bad but instead of going into it directly and facing it head on with confidence i allowed the fear to manifest shitty lawyers that created shit you know just shit happened in one after another nothing going right nothing even fair like just be fair about it and and it was just manifest just nothing i mean just shit just garbage like amazing how it was happening like uh, even myself i was like just lost when that was all going on and and then that just created more fear and it just created more and then the snowball effect just continued and then i lost my business and then i lost you know i didn't have any i had nothing left to keep going it just snowballed into it and so my point of making this video is you know because i know some people are experiencing this i see it all the time in support groups people are constantly re-manifesting their fear with what they're focusing on and and some of the things i work with with people in coaching like they fear what's going to happen and so they think about it and think about it and then they're putting their energy and their direction into it well i've been there and done that and i know it doesn't work and so what i learned throughout it was you know my deeper understanding of having faith and what i mean by that is is really using your imagination to create a difference and being able to calm yourself is, is one of the first steps because to, to create this imagination and to create an outcome that is not fear-based you have to have faith in the unseen reality you have to have faith that what you are creating and, and creating that feeling in your body as if it's already done and therefore it will happen and so that's one of the biggest things that I teach or work with people on is to overcome some of these fears and to kind of stop or slow down the snowball effect is to really first ground ourselves, become present with ourselves, and then to begin to start to imagine things differently than what the fear is showing us. Because if we don't, if we allow it to snowball out, we're going to have no choice but to face that fear. And from my experience, what I, how I had to go through it, which was an extremely the hard way, was I got to a point where there was nothing else left to fear. Like there was nothing else left to fear. There's nothing else left for me to fear. And when you realize that, I mean, that in itself will move you beyond the fears, but by then you've already sabotaged and created so much destruction for yourself that it's going to end up you're going to it, like you're going to create a whole new life just to recreate yourself out of what that destruction was and so and i don't wish that on anyone because it's extremely hard and it's not an easy path to go and so i, I want to you know if possible you know if you can get in this moment if you watch this video and you're thinking to yourself man shit is snowballing bad for me maybe i have some underlining fears then we can work through that 
and start to slow it down and start to recreate a different a different reality but we have to be able to feel it feeling is the secret to everything because it, it, just like the fears when you are manifesting these fears and these outcomes it, you're literally creating that feeling that anxiety within you and then it and then it's just manifesting outward and we can see you can see it in your outer world I mean it's obvious and that's how you know that what you're consciously thinking is not li aligned with what your inner thinking is this is how you know these things because you see what's happening outwardly and when you see it happening outwardly that's when you have to go within it and you have to start tackling it and imagining it differently feeling it as if it's done differently and creating that feeling within the body you can't can't just do it in the head when we just do it in the head and it doesn't go below below the 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 spinal cord or down it or below it whatever it's not getting into the body to be felt it's just another another creation that's going on up here and so again I wanted to keep this simple I want to make sure that you know just to express it because I see people that that go through it and it and it sucks like I've been there I've done it I've been there I, I, still like I and I have and it may be the rest of my life that I'm making up for what that destruction caused you know of course granted we don't ask for these people to be who they are but when when you start to be able to see the bigger picture of things and you start to be able to see the the greater awareness within yourself and how the outer world reflects the inner world then you start to have an understanding of more of why these people are attracting into our lives almost every ounce of everything that we do is is a manifestation of what's going on inward and so it really is 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 key and this is why i push especially when i first talk to clients i push mindfulness and creating awareness as to what is going on inside and create awareness as to what's going on be able to see be able to be able to see what's happening and when we're living unconsciously, we're too busy trying to, to, to not feel the torture of, of what's happening. And, but yet at the same time, we're just still recreating it. And so it's very important to understand it. Like certain fears are legit. You know, family court sucks. The judges are idiots. Um, divorce is horrible, especially with a narcissist. And so it's understandable to walk into that situation knowing your children and your, and your life are in the hands of an idiot that doesn't even care about you. They, they don't care. And so it's understandable to have that fear, a little bit of that, but allow that to create the confidence to say, you know what, I'm going to go out and I'm going to get a badass lawyer or I'm going to be the one that detaches emotionally and I'm going to do it myself and I'm going to be confident and I'm not going to fear my own confidence. I'm not going to fear it because I do have a lawyer that sees through it. I do have a lawyer that understands it and I do have someone that's on my side. You know, there's different, there's a difference in how this can flow. And so I wanted to, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of things that I'm missing or forgetting to say that I, I think of throughout the day. Um, because I don't I don't write these out so I just kind of go off of the experience and then allow it to flow so but hopefully I, hopefully that touches on you know plants a seed or gets at least someone to stop and think for a minute because I know in my own experience when it was all and it snowballs and it keeps going until you get control over it until you get finally hit that point you know, either you hit the point of there's nothing left to fear or you hit the point of this, of making sure you commit to stopping it. You know, and, and so I, understanding that is, is crucial. You know, there's ways of doing that. And, and even when it's done, you still you want to pay attention to what these fears were because it's still showing you parts of you that need to heal. It's still showing you parts that you're still carrying within yourself. And if you don't heal them, 
they'll st they're still going to come up in some way, some form or fashion. E either you're going to choose to be single the rest of your life to avoid feeling them again, or you're going to recreate it later on in life and through another relationship, and it's just going to keep coming back. And then, you know, this is, unless you're creating awareness and you're aware of it, and, and you start to do the work on it, you know, but my biggest point of this video is if life is snowballing you and you're feeling fear towards everything and all your worst fears are coming true, know that you are creating that through that fear and you can stop it or it, it, it's, you know, my heart goes out to you if you've had to experience the whole snowball coming to a stop at the bottom of the other mountain. You know, but just realize too, if you get to the bottom of the mountain, there's nothing else but reaching up. You know, and you'll reach double what you just came down. So, you know, it's don't lose hope. Have faith in what will be, and know that it's gonna it's gonna be different. It's gonna change, but it might. You know, if we live through that fear, it might create some shit that is is not so enjoyable in life. But we have to trust the process. I mean. And, and the way I look at things is, you know, if that's the path it has to be to learn the lesson, then that's the path it has to be to learn the lesson. And so we can only control what we see. You know, there's gonna, there, there are going to be things that other people are doing, but the more awareness we have to be able to see it, then the more we have to be able to respond to it. When we're in fear, we're in lack scarcity mindsets. We're unconscious to things. And when we're in fear, we're not able to see things. And therefore, it creates just bigger snowball effects that are coming down the mountain. And so I wanted to make sure, you know, that, that I covered and brought this up and talked about it. Um, also, when you're in fear, you do nothing but react. And when you're reacting, you're, you're out of awareness. You know, so these are all things to... You know, take in and, and really think about if you watch this video and really think about looking at your out, outer world and what's happening. You know, if you have a court case coming up, if you have this coming up or that coming up and it's creating fear, try to re try to reevaluate and reground yourself and try to imagine it and feel it in your body. Try to imagine it and, and literally feel what it would feel like to have a better outcome and embrace that feeling. Embrace that, embody that feeling of a great outcome and allow it to unfold and then go from there. So with that being said, I hope this video helps somebody. And again, if anybody wants to talk one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can reach me on my email um, or the website or you can leave a comment, whatever it takes. Um, but, you know, we work with people to, to help, help them work through the fears to recreate and, and face and go through the fear. Literally, it's like everything we're fearing, the answer is on the other side of fear, but we create such resistance that we never get to, to that far, and then we just continue living it out. And so I wanted to, to make a video, and again, I'm sure there's stuff I missed, but you know, that's, that's the thing. I haven't brought it, I haven't brought myself to sit and type out and then sit and read. Um, to, to make these videos yet maybe I should I don't know but um, if you like please share if you haven't already hit hit like and subscribe and I will talk to you on the next video namaste